Howdy folks, I hope you're all well today. Last night, with this budget telescope, I got some pretty amazing, for the price, for the price I repeat, an amazing view of Saturn and its rings and Titan. Considering it wasn't fully dark and it's light polluted area and I was actually looking at it sort of through um, in, in between uh, tree branches which uh, reduced the contrast somewhat. But that to come. So all the usual formalities out the way first. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I really do. Uh, no matter if it's the first time watching our channel or you're a regular viewer, don't forget to give us a thumbs up on and hit that subscribe button. It's interactions like that, as well as the many comments that keep this channel well up in the YouTube rankings. And just as, if not more importantly, it's customers, not just visitors, to our website, uh, over the phone or optics weekend that means the channel will be able to continue and add new products so this is the I'm not going over it to it at the moment because it's uh, such a long focal length I'm, I'll probably have to shout when I get to near the telescope so this is the Skywatcher Capricorn 70 millimeter uh, achromatic refractor now this one has for a 70 millimeter a where are we? 900 millimeter f 12.8 focal length and so you will compared to a lot of short tube options you will notice a reduction not an elimination but a reduction in chromatic aberration this one it comes with um, the the usual modified achromatic eyepieces which get mixed opinions giving 36 and 90 times and with the barlow lens which is a basic single lens barlow lens by the way 72 and 180 times. It comes on an EQ1 mount, uh, I'll just move it in a, in a second and hopefully you'll still hear me because it's quite a, a trek over the room to reach this scope, it's such a long focal length and uh, just show you how easy it is to move. Now it comes on an EQ1 mount so bear in mind while you're using the focuser or, you, or you're using the slow motion controls you know, you will need to give it a few seconds uh, to steady right? or if it's windy but then it, it is an EQ1 mount it's a budget scope if it came with an EQ2 mount then it would be a higher price so I've got the mount quite slack here and just to show you how that is just effortless moving should you want you know to initially find the target and then you just tighten these two little screws Find out where they are in daylight to save you start, you know, say faffing about looking for them in the dark, and then you can use the slow motion controls. Nice and smooth focuser. It does come with a T thread on the focuser. I've not tested yet to see if I can get infinity focus without the use of an extension, a T2 extension. But when I do, I'll let you know in the description below. But by all means, if anybody has this scope and you can get uh, prime focus without the use of any other adapters then please let us know so this is classed oh yeah it's still in view that's good I'll just change the angle a bit All right. so this is classed as a suitable for planets and double stars and last night I was not disappointed I'm going to be honest I put in one of my own um, Fully multi-coded 7.5mm eyepieces giving 120 times magnification. Now the chances are at some point down the line you're going to uh, change the eyepieces anyway. So excuse me one minute. Just change the angle. See if we're still in view. Nearly, that's good. So as you can see that does give a a good impression of how long this tube is. So yeah, I looked at Jupiter, could easily see the two cloud belts and the four moons were really really bright. Saturn, the, the rings were pin sharp. I couldn't believe it uh, compared to some Newtonians I've used. Really were sharp and uh, Titan was easily visible and no doubt m more of the moons will be visible in better seeing conditions. And so for those that think that this is only for the planets and double stars, think again. I had a look with the 25mm, which is 
remind myself, 36 times magnification. I looked at the double cluster in Perseus. From light polluted skies, it was absolutely stunning. So do not think this is just for planets and double stars. It does come with a red dot finder, by the way, which is the, the twin pin connection, which is a bit of a shame, which means you can't put in one of the um, optical Skywatcher mounts. But but yeah, it, the, the diagonal is 90 degrees, so it left and right will be opposite, but you'll soon get used to that. So yeah, uh, a cracking little telescope this. Uh, I would say it's an all-rounder rather than just look at planets and um, double, double stars. For looking at um, bright galaxies, star clusters in particular, nebula from a dark sky, this will also be ideal. So available to purchase in the link in the description below, but you know that anyway, don't you? And I know a number of you have gone on to do that. So thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time.